Hey everyone, my name is Denise Madrigal and today I'll be showing you how to create a bouncy blowout with the T3 Afar Travel Dryer. So I just flew in today and I brought my T3 Afar Travel Dryer with me. It comes in this adorable vegan leather pouch that is super compact and lightweight and it's so easy for me to just throw into my bag. The T3 Afar comes with a folding handle and a concentrator. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start off by brushing my hair but I'm going to make sure that it's still 75% damp just to really enforce all that volume when I start blow drying it. So once I've finished brushing my hair out, I'm gonna go ahead and start sectioning my hair from the bottom around my nape area. And I'm gonna start from the bottom all the way up. So the reason why I'm starting from my nape first is because I'm going to leave my hairline last to make sure it's the bounciest and the freshest. I'm gonna go in with my two inch round brush just to get a tighter curl because once it starts falling out, I still want it to be very bouncy. And going in with the afar, I'm gonna hit the highest heat setting because I do have a lot of thick hair and my hair type can definitely take more heat. And I'm also going to be on the highest speed. So when I'm blow drying my hair, I'm gonna point the blow dryer downward because I really want to seal my cuticle and get the most shine I can get out of my hair. Once I'm done applying all the heat to my hair, I'm gonna hit the cooling button and let the brush sit for a couple seconds until it cools off. Next, I'm going to grab the strand and gently twist it so it creates a perfect curl and lots of bounce. So once I hit the other side, I'm gonna go in the opposite direction away from my face. So on my right side, I went right side, left, left. So I'm first gonna hit my hair in the midsection, dry that out, and then do my ends last and then really enforce that curl away from my face. So now that my left side has cooled, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hair and just begin twisting it away from my face and letting it drop. Perfect. I'm gonna bring everything forward and just do the same thing. So I'm gonna have pretty high tension on each strand because I want to make sure my hair is completely smoothed out. Next section, we're gonna go right above the ears. So in order to achieve that bouncy blowout, we need to start making our way and over directing our hair into the opposite direction of the way that it's naturally coming down. So now we're gonna go ahead and start redirecting this above the brow line. So we're gonna go outwards. If you really want to speed up the process, you can go ahead blow dry from underneath to really raise that root, but also go in above, wrap the hair, and go upwards to really make that drying process go a lot faster. So when blow drying my hair, I like to kind of split it down the middle and then bring all of my hair to the right side and blow drying in that direction. Same thing on the left, but on the left side, I'm gonna be blow drying away from my face just to kind of really create that uniform bounce throughout my whole hair. So for this top section, I'm going to go ahead and start redirecting all this forward towards my face. But when I'm round brushing it, I'm still going away from my face to really create that bounce and that lift at the root. So same thing, forward, forward and then we're gonna start going backwards to create that lift. So 
So we have reached our front piece. We're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing and blow dry forward. I'm also gonna go ahead and blow dry underneath just to give it that extra lift. I personally like to lower the speed setting on my blow dryer around my hairline just so that my baby hairs don't go everywhere. So now once that has cooled off, I'm gonna grab that piece and then brush it backwards. We're gonna let it fall forward. And now you have a bouncy blowout. So there you have it, a super bouncy blowout. It was so quick and so easy because the blow dryer is super lightweight, not heavy at all. And the negative ions really gave my hair this beautiful shine. It is so smooth and my cuticle is definitely sealed. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to try out these techniques and leave a comment below what you'd like to learn next.